This is a polyethylene water tub, eight foot from Atwoods. They have them, I believe, at Tractor Supply also. And I'm gonna show you how I rig them to go on our water line. I've tried putting them in the bottom because that's how we do our, our standard fiberglass tubs that we use, which are real heavy. They have a real heavy, thick bottom. So they're not uh, very flexible like this. This poly is probably about, I'm going to say it's maybe, you know, three eighths thick, the bottom. So it flexes quite a bit like what I was showing. And it's caused an issue with the riser, the riser that we use that comes up through the bottom. It's got a bulkhead on it like this. This is called a bulkhead. And it comes up through the bottom, and because that flexes so much, it has a tendency to pull over these edges, or you lose your seal with this with this washer down here. And so they leak out of the bottom. It doesn't work very well because it's just getting pressure from the water. You know, if it's if it moves at all, it has a chance to to fail. So what I started doing, and just so you know, what what I like to do also now is I like to be able to move this tub. And so I've started putting them on the side. I'll come down here and I'll drill a hole right here. And I'll start my, my design slash my PVC Frankenstein fittings together right there. And it's working very well. So I'm just going to show you kind of how I put that together. Okay, first I'm going to kind of get my estimate about where I want it to go. And you notice I can't put it all the way at the bottom because I need this fitting just to be have a little bit of play off the ground. So I'm going to put it about right there. That's about right. We'll come up just a little. Okay, I'm gonna drill a hole right there. Okay. Easy enough. Now you're fitting like this. It's got a rubber washer right here that's going to pull up snug against the tub. So it's going to go like that. And this will pull up snug like this and pull that rubber. It'll pull that rubber up snug against the deal and then it's good. Then my float will just screw right into that hole and that's it. So let's put together the back side just kind of to see how I, I put it where it's a temporary and movable where I can disassemble it. Okay, this is standard pipe dope. It's not brand new, but it'll it'll work fine. This is a three quarter inch thread, female and male thread. This is gonna screw straight into our bulkhead. It's gonna go in our tub. Which is this. And you wanna put this in first so you can get it at the right angle. Because if you've ever used pipe dope, it tends to kind of get tight on you before you want it to. So you just want to get it, you know, kind of snug. I'm just kind of hand tightening with this left hand. 
So it's like that. I want to go ahead and put this together so I know at what angle to put that. Because I want that to get to the ground as quickly as possible. That way the livestock has have less a chance of stepping on it. This is a three quarter inch male adapter, piece of three quarter inch pipe, PVC, schedule 40. You don't have to make this so short, it doesn't have to fit perfect. I just made a nipple. I don't know if they make a PVC nipple or not, but if you had one, that would cut a step out. You wouldn't have any glue in that way. You just have threads. Okay, we'll set that there and let it dry for just a minute. Get this out of the way. Okay, now. This is a three quarter inch union. This is a three quarter inch brass. Uh, let's see. Well, let me see what, exactly what they call those. what it is it's a three-quarter to three-quarter M N P T this is going to be what the pecs will go on pipe dope you ever noticed on this stuff they make your brush just a little bit short where it won't get to the bottom it's like putting, uh, filling a chip bag half full, putting the rest with air. I think it's the same thing. If anybody wanted to ever create some pipe dope, charge a little bit more and tell them the bottles, the brush goes all the way to the bottom. They'd probably sell them like hotcakes. 
Okay, you can screw this into either side. I have this union in there because all of them, all of mine will have this union. And so if I need to move a tub around, half of this will stay with the tub, the other half will go with the line, and we'll move it to wherever we're going to hook it in, and, and there's already half a union there. I'm sure there's better connectors for that. Matter of fact, I've got one that I was going to try, but I'm just not uh, ready to do that yet. That's tight. Now we'll take our other side that we just made, which is just a, basically a nipple. We'll pipe dope it. screw into this side okay now we're gonna pipe dope this last thread Okay, so I got the thread, the pipe dope on there. Now what will happen is this will screw into our female here. This pipe dope gets all over everything. I wonder if it would be better to use a Okay. Okay. So now we'll put it through the hole and tighten it up. Okay. So now, because we've already kind of assembled this, it's easy to set the angle how we want it. So we want it about right there. So now I'm going to get on the inside here and put the the nut back on and the beauty of this see is if I need to adjust it all I have to do is get in here and loosen the nut off and then tighten it back up and it doesn't have to be fiddle string tight because there's really no pressure on this hole here because my my float is going to go inside that hole it's not going to come into contact with this at all. This is just going to be the pressure of the of the water, the depth of the water. That's it. This is going to have 60 psi unless it's coming from the hill down to the bottom. Then it's going to have a 110. So that's how that works. Let me go get a float. I'll screw it in just so you can see that. And then this tub's ready to go. Okay, here's the valve. This is a mega flow valve, and I'll show you the box here in a minute. This is a three-quarter male, so it'll screw straight into that bulkhead. It's that simple. You just want to kind of get it... Well, really, it doesn't matter which way it goes. You notice I got it high enough where this thing will screw. I just kind of neglected to say that's another reason to not put it down on the very bottom. But you want it to be able to... And ideally, you'd like for it to stop. You know, I like it to stop kind of pointing down rather than up. If it points up, all the cattle or all the goats go to this spot to drink. Whoops. Sorry. Elbow hit the camera. They go to this spot to drink, and that creates a little bit of a, of a bullying issue. You know, you want them to just have the same type of water all the way around. Just 
stop it right there on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that'll still work. It needs to be facing bottom. That way it'll stop. Now, if you don't want to put your float like this straight into it, you can create you a little pigtail that comes out using three quarter inch. They make a T that uh, is threaded. So you can go in, you can cap this end off. This will be threaded here, female, and you just screw it into the female. But this is just one less step. If you put it facing down, these valves will shut off like this or they'll shut off if they're straight up and down. I don't sell these. I don't get a kickback from anybody. These are just the ones we use and they work, we like them, they work really well. The only issue I have with them is that if a cow does get in, they're plastic. So they're gonna be, they're pretty easy to break off. So, but you can see 50 gallons a minute at 30 PSI, that's a lot of water. So, and that's not gonna be for, well, I don't know. It depends on how, what your recovery is coming in. They're good valves. We water a lot of animals with this at one time. That's the whole kit and caboodle right there. I'll put a float on it, which should be in the box. And I'll adjust that. Actually, when I get down there to the tub where I'm going to hook it in, I'll put the float on it. There's one more step the way our line is set up. Our line is set up for it's either an inch and a quarter coming up the riser or it is two inch so what we have is we've got an inch and a quarter L with a inch and a quarter to three quarter bushing threaded and what that'll do that'll allow us to screw another one of these into that and so our PEX line will be in between those two. And that'll be how we hook it in. Now, if it's a two inch, we have the same setup with the two inch. We have a two inch L with a two inch to three quarter bushing threaded. Okay, that's it. Works really good for us. Like I said, they're easily maneuverable and, and exchangeable and, and that kind of thing, which is something we needed. Uh, it just allows us to put the tubs in a little bit different spot every time and it's helping with respect to the pugging around the tubs uh, rather than coming in and uh, spending a lot of money on gravel and then you know having the ground eat the gravel and all that mess this is just this is working a little bit better so we will continue to do this until it proves itself unworthy <laughs> let's hope that doesn't happen well, there you go. There's the final setup. It's working great so far. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Wake up! Go to bed. <laughs>